I have been developing on Roblox on and off for four years now, and I have learned a thing or two along the way, from scripting, to modeling and texturing, animation, UI, audio, I have done it all. Granted, my strong suits are scripting and modeling, but yes, I have done the others as well. Slowly making my way to a full stack dev. And even with all that said and done, I have still not released an official game on Roblox. Not even a fully completed game. But nonetheless, I have compiled a list of what are, in my opinion, the biggest things that you can do in order to see your game release and be a success. Tip, tip number one. Learn Roblox Studio. Take on many learning projects beforehand. Please, 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 don't be like me and start trying to develop a game right away before even learning how to spawn it apart. I know that most people just learning and starting out will do this. It's only natural. After all, we want to develop our game, but the problem is that you don't have any experience. You will probably patch a bunch of free models together and call it your first game. I've done that too. But please, take on projects in order to learn scripting, modeling, animation, etc. before actually working on your first game. In my case, I love MMO games, and so I've always wanted to develop an MMO on Roblox, and I still do, even to this day. So that is what I tried to do. Terrible idea. <laughs> I sucked at everything. Building, modeling, scripting, animation, you name it, I sucked at it. But that's going to be the case for every new dev just starting out. Some great learning project ideas for beginners are things like a shop GUI, or part that when clicked opens a specific door in the world. Another one is an obby that has parts that kill the player when they are touched, or vanishing platforms. There are so many projects that you as a new developer can do in order to make your first game that much easier to see through and develop. Tip number two. It's okay to draw inspiration. Now I don't mean just blatantly copying another game on Roblox. I mean maybe some systems in your game are inspired by systems from another. Or maybe your game is inspired by another but yours has a unique twist on it that makes it fun and different. Maybe it's even a hit. In this day and age, especially on the Roblox platform, everyone seems to be copying everyone. I see games on Roblox that completely ripped off another, but I also see games that are inspired by others. For instance, I used to play a lot of Deepwoken. I worked on a project that was heavily inspired by it. Deepwoken itself deeply drew inspiration from Rogue Lineage. It's basically a cleaner and more modern version of it, and that is okay. There's no need to reinvent the wheel when creating a new game let alone your first game. No matter what concept you come up with, I can guarantee you that it has been done before. Tip number three. Set small goals and create a plan. Do not have your first game be some massive RPG game that you'll never finish. This. You need to set small goals that build on each other. You cannot just set your only goal to be the finished product. You will are guaranteed to burn yourself out many times over. As you know, developing a game is no easy feat, and so you need to set these small goals so that you are given the motivation to continue on and complete it. I have started many, many projects, and I haven't fully completed a single one. I always end up losing interest in shelving it. I never set out any small goals that I could strive for. It was always just the end goal, and so I burnt myself out every single time. This leads into the next part of this tip, and that is to make a plan. Sit down with a pen and paper and make a plan. Or use Google Docs, Trello, or another one of the many tools out there designed to help you plan out your projects. Do this combined with incremental goal setting, and I guarantee you that you'll see a huge bump in productivity and motivation to finish your projects. Tip number four. Put in the effort. Don't make some stupid simulator or brain rock game like so many of the front page games and keep your idea small. This is a big one. Now you can be like so many other developers and create some silly simulator or cash grab. Or you could take some time to come up with a unique small idea that you feel confident enough to develop. It may not do as well but you'll learn more from that project than some pesky simulator. The key is to keep it easy and the scope small. So many new devs think they can take on some massive project like an MMO totally not me <laughs> and they get right to it trying to develop their dream game skipping all the previous steps I have mentioned save your dream game for several years down the line when you have the required skill set and knowledge to see it through it's called your dream game for a reason you won't be able to develop it for a very very long time tip number five build a following for its release no matter how good your game is 
You will never see any players if you do not promote it to the right audience. Start a Twitter or YouTube or TikTok or Instagram account or all of them. Start posting content about your upcoming game. Get people excited for it. Show it off. Hype people up. Look at games like Divas of Creation or Emblem Tales or literally any anime game currently in development. Their Discord servers have tens of thousands of members eagerly awaiting the release of their game. I'll admit, it is not the easiest to build a following for a game, but if your game looks like a quality piece of work, it will gain attention. This ties back to tip number four with putting the effort in. If your game looks like some trashy simulator or cash grab, it's not likely to gain a lot of traction. Now, of course, you have devs who put games out like that and they are very successful and I still do not understand why that is, but please, just put in the effort into your game and when you promote it, it people will join, alright? People will join the Discord. With all that being said and done, let's go over a quick recap on what was discussed. Number one, learn Roblox Studio and work on projects that will develop your skill set as a developer and do not jump to creating a game right away. Number two, it's okay to draw inspiration. You do not have to reinvent the wheel every time you create a new game. Some of the biggest games are heavily inspired by another. Number three, set small goals and create a plan. If you do not do this, there is a higher chance of you burning yourself out and not seeing your project through. Number four, put in the effort. Don't make some trashy cash grab of a game. You will learn a lot more if you choose to work on a unique but small scope project. Number five, build a following for your game. This is super important if you want your game to be a success and have a reoccurring player base. I hope you all enjoyed the video today, and hey, if you're still here, thanks so much for the support. Consider leaving a like, as that will go a very long way. And just remember, every successful developer started where you are now, opening Roblox Studio for the first time, and most likely making a lot of the mistakes that you are making now yourself. Keep at it, keep learning, and you will become a successful developer on Roblox. That is all for me today, guys. See you next time.